weeks while the world burned, while my kids needed me, I was parting with Hades. Gods know I was never there. You have a lot on your mind. I don't even know where she is right now. That's pretty bad. Sorry. <laughs> Phoenix was determined to reach the top. The sight of the peak gave Phoenix hope. But this part is boring. Maybe I should skip it? Prometheus, just tell the story. Suddenly, monsters appear. The action! The excitement! Just stop it, Prometheus. Stop. Don't try to cheer me up. It's just you. <laughs> I just kept cheating on Hera. I wanted to have a good time. I didn't want to be a father. I didn't think about anyone but myself. Ah, these chains are hurting. We're talking about me right now, Prometheus. Suddenly, a pearl rolled past. Phoenix wondered if the oyster was using... ...clamouflage. Prometheus, please. Stop. It's so bad. It's like you went to some kind of clown school. Flunked out, turned to telling jokes through interpretive dance, and mistook your audience's cries of pain for laughter. Actually, I do feel a little better now. Huh. 
During her treacherous traversal, Phoenix was ambushed. I can beat all of these and beat Legiron. Got your back, Phoenix. Hear the battle cry of Ares and feel your blood boil. <laughs>
up ahead, Phoenix spotted an elaborate representation of the fiery wheel of King Ixion. Oh yes, the king who I strapped to a fiery wheel for all eternity because he tried to seduce my wife. Meanwhile, I had my pick of any woman or man I wanted. What a hypocrite I am. At least he was also a murderer. Of course he was. He's Ares' son. And I just insulted Ares again. It's too easy. Ixion went after Hera. You tricked him with a cloud instead? Yes, I thought it was hilarious. How irresponsible. They had a kid who was deformed, constantly ostracized and rejected by mortals, to the point that he ended up only finding peace with horses. Laying with horses, he died sad and alone. Look on the bright side. At least the horses he lay with gave birth to the centaurs. Sexy horse people that make us ask uncomfortable anatomy questions. Try again. also the goddess of prophecy, and helped me hone my skills. That woman could tell the future, see everything, hear everything. Do you know what it's like to already have screwed up before you've even done anything? I still have nightmares. Let the lightning from my hammer strike warm your way.
Libra, the constellation of justice, shining over mortals, symbolizing your power, O Zeus, to weigh their actions. That takes me back. Remember when I created them? First, the Titans roamed the Earth. You and me and the other gods defeated them. Those were good times, Zeus. Yes, they were. Then it was safe to make mortals. First, I tried fashioning them out of gold. They were perfect. It was so boring, so I ended them. Next, I tried silver. But they were so dumb, they just kept hurting themselves. So then, I used brass. That was a huge mistake. They just kept fighting each other until they no longer existed. And then, there was the fourth race. The heroes. They were just awesome. Love those guys. What did you fashion them out of? That was the problem. I lost the recipe card. So that brings us to now. The fifth age. I made them of iron. The best of the lot. Well, you better think so. If you hadn't stolen fire from the gods to give to those puny mortals, you wouldn't be here. Chained to a rock. You know you have the power to change that, right? You put me here? The iron mortals were a problem from the start, and they got worse with each generation. I'm already thinking of trying grape juice for the sixth. Or olive oil. Everyone loves that. What was wrong with the Iron Mortals, exactly? The decadence, the selfishness, forgetting to wash their hands. They pursue pleasure and power single-mindedly and defy or create authority. They're too extreme and too messy. Sounds a lot like you. Hey, I guess it does. The world before Zeus was a place of chaos and suffering. It's the same now, too. I've accomplished nothing. the bad energy coming up to this one. Let me guess. The Tower of Hera. Prometheus, I loved her so much. I was cuckoo for her, literally. She was all about animals, so I became a cuckoo to get her to say yes. And when she said no, well, I shamed her into marrying me. And I shame her now that we're married. The cheating is just part of it. It's also cheating her out of her happiness. Cheating everyone. Cheating myself. This is actually the Tower of the Fates. Oh. Well, um... That's awkward. Ha! 
I did it! Who's your daddy now, Legiron? Hey, Cerberus Breath! Did you steal the nectar, little one? Yes, I shot the doves down as they were delivering it to the mountain. Just like you said, Typhon. <sighs> what the? The nectar that grants the goats life and the ichor from their veins. Place them into the cold room. The ichor? The blood of the gods. Quickly, little one. Little one is pushing. Now, the hydra venom that toppled Heracles and the water of Styx, the most deadly river of the underworld. Stay back. Drop in the adamantine to contain it. Gently. Good. Now bring the fire to me. This will be my throne once we murder the gods. Once I lay them to rest without poison, nothing can resist its dark kiss. So that's Typhon's plan. To kill them all. Oh, yeah. I could get used to this. Legiron! Oh, this is going to be good. Whoa, Speedy. How did you get up here? I heard everything. Look at me. Don't I deserve to be a god? And, of course, I'll make you one, too. Goddess of storytelling. You can immortalize me. Ah, get it? You have no idea what you're doing. You can't give Typhon that poison. Stop worrying, little sis. I've got this. You won't have to hurt any gods, I promise. I'll do it. Out with the old, in with the new. No! I won't let you! You and what army? No army. Just me. Oh, you're serious. I don't want to humiliate you, but you leave me no choice. Let's see what you can do. Come on, you can hit me. You. I've been practicing. Guess I better stop going easy on you. Bring it on! Be careful what you wish for. Oh, yeah. I could get used to this. Is that like this moral's catchphrase? Come on, Phoenix! This isn't funny anymore, Phoenix. Is that what I am to you? Some kind of joke? That's not what I meant. I wanted to be like you my whole life. I would have done anything for you, and you never even asked once. It was like I didn't exist. Well, joke's on you. Please, stop! Why? 
Didn't you defeat a thousand Spartans single-handedly? Didn't you sail into the harbor and sink their ships one by one overnight? This is nothing compared to those feats! I didn't! I didn't do those things! What? What? Prometheus, what? I hid, all right? There was a storm. All the ships sank, and the other soldiers were killed. I made it up. Happy? You made what up? All of it. I learned how to do it from you. You're such a good storyteller. It's impossible not to believe everything that comes out of your mouth. You're so passionate. I guess you could say storytelling runs in our family? That's not storytelling. That's called lying. Same farm, different fields. Anyhow, once I become a god, I can make all of it true. No one will ever know. Lagiron. <sighs> Typhon! No! <gasps> Stop! You're making a terrible mistake! No, 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 no. What if he uses that on my family? You have to get that potion, Phoenix!